this person is walking right in front of my truck. Stupid people. Howdy doody. Today we are doing something a little more easy going than the uh, skid steer pickup video. Oop. Uh, today we are picking up a equipment trailer that I won at auction. So, beautiful day in February, nice and sunny, good day for a drive. I am uh, on my way to the yard that I keep my uh, F-350 at. We're going to grab that and take it for a little road trip. Two hours, southwestern Ohio, um, picking up a 20-foot equipment of trailer that I want at auction. Um, I'm excited for this thing. It is too nice for me. Uh, I'm gonna. The plan is to sell this 16-footer uh, that I have trailing behind me. I'm gonna throw this at the shop and uh, grab this other one. And got a couple things. Got. A, got a couple things that I want to do to it to kind of make it my spec, and uh, it'll be good to go. I mean, like I said, a little bit, a little bit too nice for me, but. That's what you get at auction. Every once in a while you get a good deal on something you can't resist. So uh, I'm going to go swing by, grab that truck, see if it'll start up. If it doesn't, then we're just going to drive this one. But I'd rather go a little more classic today. I got my dog with me. And I uh, kind of just want to go for a Saturday cruise. So here we go. All right, so this thing, if you don't know anything about it, has the 6.9 IDI diesel in it uh, made by International. Um, it hasn't been run since the last time you saw it on the channel, so it's been months. So hopefully the battery's held to charge, and we'll see if this thing pops off. Okay, you don't need to clamp those down. I do need to check my oil, though. That would be wise of me. Why can't I remember where the dipstick is on this? You dipstick. There you are. Good. Probably, probably should have thought it hadn't brought oil with me, but luckily I have enough. Hello. Check my power steering too, because that's been leaking. Mott as wall. Add in a little bit there. Bloop. Got power, glow plugs. I'll probably cycle these once or twice, actually. Eight, all right, let's give her a twist. A little bit more glow plug. Don't wanna burn up that starter. How's that? Oh yeah. little rough but it's honestly I don't know how many what is that two months at least since the last time I had this thing running yeah so I'm gonna let that warm up not too shabby though I'm not this thing is all reliable I mean I'm I'm bringing tools with me this this uh, this go around but uh, I just gotta I got a good feeling you know so let's get packed up and get my dog thrown in here and uh, I'll let this warm up for a little bit and then we'll hit the road all right, that is up to temperature. Let's get on the road. Lady, come on. There she is. Hi, baby. Okay, get in. Good girl. All right, let's hit the road, honey. Let's do it. Good, good, good. 
So here we are, new trailer, cool. Um, guy that was supposed to meet me here um, from auction time, uh, couldn't get here at the same time as me, which is great for me because I don't like talking to people. Um, but supposedly this is a 2013, it's 20 feet long and 83 inches wide so i can haul a car on this which is really the reason why i wanted it um so i can use it for my equipment hauling as well as uh, cars uh, my current trailer is 16 foot long and 70 something inches wide so i'd be able to get like a small car on there but not any sort of substantial car or truck you know so it's a 14,000 pound weight rating, so two 7,000 pound axles, uh, just a regular ball hitch. Nice, nice trailer jack here. I like that setup. Um, he said the only thing that's really wrong with it, only thing broken on the trailer is the return spring on the, on the pad foot, but I'm not worried about that. It also has trailer brakes, which is great. My other trailer does not. Um, so yeah, I think the only thing I really need to do is just button some things up. I see I got a little, this is probably for my either my lights or my brakes, but power cord dangling here. Um, it's a little, you know, I got some surface rust going on, but that's to be expected for Ohio weather. I can probably just rust treat the surface rust and uh, spray a nice little coat of spray paint on there and that's all I'll really do to this thing um, other than I got some work to do on the uh, on the ramps I gotta weld in some um, some plate and then put uh, some running boards on here so I can get my smooth drum roller on the trailer um, but yeah major upgrade for me I'm really excited about this thing um, I will be like I said to uh, offset the cost I'll be selling my 16 foot trailer um, I don't know if I mentioned that's a 10,000 pound trailer and this is a 14 so even with that skid steer on there um, I'm not gonna say it was you know over the weight rating or anything but you could feel it you know uh, I'm sure you wouldn't be able to feel that skid steer on this trailer so I'm really excited for this thing but let's hook this up I'm going to take, uh, there's a park right next door, so I'm going to take my dog so she can run around. I might throw some food in my belly because my wife was nice enough to pack me something. Thank you, honey. Uh, yeah, and then we'll hit the road, get back home.
tell you, there are definitely things that I would like to do, just out of personal preference and making my stuff look nice, presentable, um, grease up all the joints, all that stuff. That's the other thing I didn't check is I gotta check those wheel bearings to see if those are properly greased. Um, and if not, I'll throw some in before I leave here. But yeah, let's hit the road. Nice, nice day for a drive. Nice little park. Not sure if you can really have dogs here, but there's no one here and she's happy. So that's all that matters. Cario high. Hi any girl. Doing her thing. Let's see what we got in our little lunch box here. Fruit snacks. Granola bar. Banana. Yep. Here it is, leftover pizza. Now oh, some people showed up, so now I got her on a leash. Poor girl, but hey, can't win them all. All right, wrap up my lunch and I'm hitting the road. Come on. Good girl. You ready to go? All right. Well, there you have it. My new 20 foot equipment trailer that I picked up from Auction Time. Uh, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm, I like being transparent with price on things like this because that's something that like when I'm watching videos on equipment that I'm looking to buy or whatever, um, I like knowing what, what the market's at, you know. Uh, I don't think I stole this by any means, but um, it is exactly what I was looking for, you know, with the exception of tweaking a few little things like with the ramps. But the exact dimensions, uh, it's, it's really everything that I wanted. But anyway, I spent $28.50 on it. Um, that's what I picked it up for. I think new with this brand, which I can't remember what it's called. Lady, come here. Good girl. Uh, new, this brand. Um, this exact trailer goes for, I think, like 6000 bucks. So, half off, and it's just a few years old. So, uh, it'll be perfect for what I need it for. Um, the main reason why I kind of splurged and, you know, spent a fair price rather than looking for something a little cheaper 
because I know I can sell that other trailer that I did steal from the guy. Stolen money. I can sell that and pretty much get my money back. It'll be close to it, I think. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. I think it's uh, it'll be good for me. It'll be good for the channel because this is what all the projects are going to be coming home on. So uh, with that. Uh, I will see you guys for an update video on this where I'll be tweaking the ramps and I'll get my needle scaler out, you know, chip off all the loose paint, get a nice fresh coat of paint on there and uh, make sure all the wiring is good to go, blah, blah, blah. It'll be a good time is what I'm saying. So don't forget to grab that wrench, get after it. See you next time.